Now you can call Mr. Wheeler and tell him I ain't working for you no more, and you can take the job. I will take the job. Hazel, what on earth is the matter with you? We can't get along without you. Hazel, we can't replace you. No, of course you can. You ain't gonna have to. But you said in that... What I'm gonna do is tomorrow morning I'm going over to the Johnsons the first thing and I'm gonna live there. But I'm gonna tend to both the houses. Well, you can't do that. Oh, are you kidding, Missy? I've been doing it half the time anyway. Oh. Oh, did you have me worry? And then when Mr. B leaves in the morning, I'll come over here and do our house. Then he can take that wheel of deal. And when it's over, then I'll come back here and live. Simple. <laughs> yes, I guess so. Now, we quick got to think up a schedule for tomorrow. Now, uh, I'll start at the Johnson's at breakfast time. You can fix breakfast here tomorrow, okay? Of course. And George won't be home for lunch, and I can feed Harry. Oh, sure. And then I'll fix your dinner over at the Johnson's. I'll slip him in the kitchen here, course by course. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, why do we have to go to all the trouble of keeping it a secret from George? Why don't we just tell him? Oh, no. He's got to believe I'm really working for the Johnsons. Otherwise, he won't tell Mr. Wheeler that I quit, unless he believes it. You know, Mr. B's a lawyer. He's very ethical. Oh, yes, that's true. But we're women. <laughs> we don't have to worry about stuff like that, do we? <laughs> Harriet? seem to be having some difficulty with your egg. Yes, it's resisting me. <laughs> Dear, I'm so sorry. This is the first time I've ever boiled an egg, and I, I did so want it to turn out well. What method did you follow? I seem to recall that Hazel said something about the longer you boil anything, the more tender it gets. So working on that principle with the egg, I left it in boiling water for about an hour. Uh, it certainly seems logical. Hi! Oh, Hazel, I'm so glad you came over. Perhaps you can advise me about Herbert's egg. It's an unusually solid one. <laughs> oh, I'll say it is. How long did you boil it? Slightly over an hour. Was that long enough? More or less. Oh, well, never mind. We'll keep it till Easter. And then we'll dye it red and roll it on the lawn. Oh, that would be delightful. <laughs> Oh, but in the meantime, Herbert has no breakfast. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of it. As a matter of fact, I'll be taking care of everything until Agnes gets back. You will? Yeah, that's what I came over to tell you. I'm working for you now. You've left the Baxters? Well, temporarily, on a part-time basis. I'm working over here, but I'm working over there, too. But don't tell Mr. B. I'm afraid I don't quite follow this. Well, me and Mr. Baxter had a little difference of opinion. It happens all the time, you know, where I'm right and he's wrong. Only this time it got a little out of hand. What was the nature of the disagreement? Oh, well, he's doing some law work for a man that wants to dry up Rainbow Lake, and I think Rainbow Lake ought to be left alone. Am I right? Of course you're right. No doubt about it. Where is Rainbow Lake, Harriet? I haven't the vaguest idea. Oh, you know, it's Easter Town on the old turnpike. Oh, yes. Now I place it. Oh, sure. It's a real romantic spot. If it wasn't for Rainbow Lake, half the men in this town would never have proposed to their wives. Oh, I remember Rainbow Lake, and it is romantic. We went canoeing there, Herbert, in the moonlight. Oh, right? so we did. Charming occasion. Okay. Although the canoe was a bit crowded for the three of us. The three of you? Well, we took our chauffeur to do the paddling. Oh, sure. That's the only way to live. <laughs> Anyhow, I say we are got to save Rainbow Lake. I'm telling all my friends to write to their city councilman about it. Well, I'm not acquainted with any councilman, but I'd be happy to write Governor Murdoch. <coughs> he and I attended college together. I got news for you, Mr. Johnson. He ain't been governor for five years. What a pity. And he came from such a good family. Uh, we'll put this away till Easter. Right now, I'm going to whip you up a batch of hotcakes. Hazel, you're a jewel. Uh, I guess I am at that. <laughs> All I can say is, who needs Hazel? This dinner is as good as anything she ever cooked. Thank you, dear. Uh, ready for dessert? If I can hold it. What are we having? Hot apple pie. I can hold it. Oh, well, I wasn't worried about you. Let's see, it's just time to take it out of the oven right now. Oh, darling, stay right where you are. Oh. Let me wait on you for a no, change. No, no, George, let me do it. It's very hot. Uh, you, you, you'll burn your hands, oh, darling, George. Darling, relax. 